a BLM supporter in Louisville, was arrested for shooting two police officers. Authorities say the man just ran up and opened fire on the cops purely because they were cops. There was no context, there was no altercation beforehand, no controversy. The man was trying to assassinate the police, apparently for political reasons. It was a pretty straightforward case of attempted murder. It was a case of terrorism, really. But that's not what the shooter is being charged with tonight. We thought we'd bring you up to date on that story. Prosecutors have instead charged the gunman with, quote, wanton endangerment and assault. Endangerment and assault for trying to assassinate police officers. That's a very light charge. Even non-lawyers can tell that. Why? Why did they charge him with that? Well, you know why. Authorities were afraid of provoking more arson and more destruction if they gave the gunman what he deserved. So they didn't give him what they deserved because they were intimidated by the mob. They let BLM control the justice system in Louisville, which is to say control society. What are the consequences of allowing that? Well, the consequences are profound and they will last far longer than the rioting itself. Normal people don't want to live in places where BLM is in charge, places where the streets are blocked by angry nihilists dressed in black places where families are threatened just for eating in restaurants. We've seen a lot of that. Places where would-be assassins who shoot the police aren't really punished for it.